Good morning everyone and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Gospel today asks us, what makes a family? Ano bang importante sa isang pamilya? Bakit ba nagtinatawag na pamilya? What makes a family? Is blood relations enough? Kung meron tatay, may nanay, may anak, family na yun. Maybe. In a very basic on a very basic level, ba very basic definition, a family is a group of people composed of the mother and the father and a child or two or more. So, blood relations. Is blood relations, is blood relations enough to make a family? Is it enough that um, you inherit physical traits? Mimana, no? Minamana yung itsura ng mata, the shape of the eyes, the shape of the face. We get it from our father or our mother. Does that make a family? Are we really, truly a family because we have we inherited physical traits or even emotional, behavioral traits from our parents? Living together, is that, does that make us a family? Dito sa Pilipinas, sinasabi, no? and even probably even abroad, mga Pilipino, uh, even at, you know, they stay with their parents even at, all the way to the age of 40 or something, you know? Does that make a family, living together until your children are all grown up and have their own families? Is that, does that um, compose, or does that make a family? Maybe it does, a human family. Human family, nagsasama-sama, tatay, nanay, anak, nagsasama-sama. Human family. But there's more to, not just a human family, a family uh, for us, as a Christian people, as a Christian family, there's more required to make a family. Kinakailangan meron ding support and a safe place. The family should be a safe place for the father and the mother and for the children. If the children feel threatened within the family, then that's not so much of a Christian family. Maybe a natural family, yes, but not a Christian family. If there is no love and forgiveness in the family, how can we call that a family? If there is no respect, no responsibility, would that be a Christian family? As a Christian family, I think that, um, and I think the, uh, we are taught, no, we... We say this, that as a Christian family, we should bring one another closer to God. Yung nanay, yung tatay, nagtutulungan sila to become closer to God. It's not just for being together by themselves. Otherwise, that's just a human, human society. That's just a human relation. But as a Christian family, we need to pull one another and push one another closer to God. The parents as well as the children together, living together, pulling one another closer, closer to God. And that is the will of God. Yun yung purpose ng family. It's not only to procreate, but to bring one another closer to God. Kaya nga sa, sa gospel, sabi ni Jesus, whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. And that is the will of God. God wills that we do what is right. Is it not right to be supportive and to provide a safe place for the members of the family? God wills that we do what benefits everybody. Is it not God's will then that we have love and forgiveness within the family? God wills that we all be united with Him in heaven. When we, are, uh, when we look out for one another and, and do what is right, what is true, what is good, then we'd probably be united with God in heaven. That will make us make a family. What is the point of living together if we will be separated in the next life? Kaya ngayon ang purpose ng Christian family is for all of us working together day by day, living together, loving one another, forgiving one another, and supporting one another, doing the will of God so that we can reach God's home in heaven. What good is looking alike, inheriting one another's physical attributes, 
if you are not faithful to the image and likeness of God? What good is being the son or daughter of our parents if you are not truly children of God in our way of life, if you are not God's children? Jesus did the will of God until the end. Why should we expect less from ourselves? Let us all stand now.